we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on the 22nd ranked team in the land, the USC Trojans. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get... This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Makes one man miss. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one. They go right back to it. Finally pulled down, but not before, moving the chains for a first down. What a nice run there. And from the beginning of time, Michigan football has been synonymous with running the football. You can think back to running toward the tape. He's at the 20. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Michigan. You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play player. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Got rid of it in a hurry, but he couldn't find his man. It's incomplete. Third play of the drive, and they need to make something happen here on third and long. To the air, it's Banks. Another incompletion on third down. Tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long and... They've got the big fellas out there. A three tight end look on first and ten. Hand off to the single back. At the 35, he's loose. He's piled up 97 yards rushing, and this guy's just having a tremendous season, leading the country in rushing. That's the way to start a drive, and now they'll try to follow up on first and 10. Still running at the 40. Nothing but green ahead. Touchdown, Wolverines. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. Give to the running back. At the 40, there he goes. Oh, look out. Touchdown, Michigan. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Huge play. It's so nice to have guys that can create these explosive plays like this. You hand it to him, he can do the rest. Look at the speed. Look at the elusiveness. Getting hey. Offense set on first down. Get set, get set. Hey. He's going to pass. Pulls it in. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Going up top on first down. It's complete. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. That's reeled in. It's Taylor. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. And the short completion brings up second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. Stop just inside the 25. We'll mark it at the 24. Pick up of 10 and a first down. And the Wolverines come to the line with a new set of downs. And that ball is picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. 
Well, the offense turns it over, and talking to their coaching staff. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. They opened this third quarter on top, and they built the lead on the strength of that running game. And they made a huge statement, too, just proving to the other team that they're more physical, they're winning in the trenches. So here in the second half, David, just keep demoralizing this defense by pounding the football. Yeah, and, and I'm not going to let that happen. I, I riled up my guys at halftime. We're going to put more people in the box, and they, we got to come out and meet the physical challenge of this offense. Brought down at the 38. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. The Wolverines building their entire attack around this guy. Remember Denard Robinson, the great running quarterback? He owns six of the top 10 single game all purpose yards in Michigan history. One of them might be going down soon. Uh, and Michigan's history, obviously, is usually running the football, running the football, but you've seen a little diversity in their offense in, in recent years, and you can see, when you got a guy that can do this and do this and do that, you want to give him the ball multiple ways and let him really hurt a defense. With the catch, it's Moore. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. The noise level is relentless here on second down. He's looking to throw. He almost had the pick, and that could have given them a boost. Instead, it'll be third down. This crowd knows when to bring it. Off play action. Pressure coming. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. And Now the crowd responding in the red zone, trying to help this defense. Wants to throw on first down. The sure hands, it's Taylor. Touchdown, Wolverines! What a catch and run for six. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had... Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. Couldn't find much breathing room to return it, but the interception has this offense in business at the 27. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. The give is to Taylor. He'll bounce his way ahead for a pickup of four out to the 14. After the productive first down play at second and six. The give to the tailback. Open space at the 25. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Cut it, cut it. Reload. Easy. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Got his man downfield. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. I think most offenses around the country in a situation like this with a lead late would be trying to run the football, right, or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk playoff. Touchdown, Michigan! And the stomping has commenced. That score will give them a little more room to operate here in the fourth quarter as they go for their sixth straight win. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day, putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Hey, 
Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They have dropped a hush on this entire stadium, David, by controlling this game. And there's nothing like shutting up the home crowd. You love it. Nothing like having a big lead in the fourth quarter, Palmer, and not having to stress or worry. Yeah, really impressive just seeing how they were able to take everything from the practice field this week and apply it to game day. They've been locked in all week with the game plan, running and throwing the football, man. This has been impressive. Back to pass, it's Banks. Fires on the move. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Wolverines. And the beatdown has ensued. With that, they are closing in on bowl eligibility, but with this big lead and a 6-0 start, much bigger dreams for this squad. Assault enter wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and get me another touchdown. Seven is the lucky and 